Hello and welcome to today's cooking demo. Uh, today we are making cabbage roll soup in a crock pot and Ellen Ellis, um, one of your very own, submitted this to me asking how to make it a little bit healthier. Um, so we're going to make some of those adjustments. I'll kind of talk through as we go what some of those adjustments are and why. Um, so to start out, I called for a pound of ground beef. I am swapping it out for a pound of ground turkey instead. Turkey is lower in saturated fat, lower in calories, a lot leaner. Um, less overall fat. So we're gonna use our ground turkey. Um, and here I have our cup, our one carrot diced, our one onion diced, and our red bell pepper diced. Um, I used, not for any health purposes, but I used some fresh rosemary because we had it. But I also have our four cloves of garlic, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and our bay leaf in here. Uh, brown sugar. A lot of recipes you can actually cut the sugar in half um, for the recipe and still maintain a very good quality. You just kind of watch out for it. But um, I used one and a half tablespoons instead of the called for three tablespoons of brown sugar. Um, the recipe called for a half a cup of brown rice. I am using uh, a half a cup of white rice. I'm using a quarter cup of brown rice because we can cut back on some of the carbs that way. But brown rice is also health, um, healthier for you typically just because it has more fiber, more whole grain. Um, so better for you in that way. We have our cabbage here that I'll slice up for us in a second, but we're going to use four cups of cabbage, um, a can of diced tomatoes, but we're using low sodium, uh, save some of that salt. So we're helping with our blood pressure, uh, our low sodium tomato sauce. We'll use two tablespoons of tomato paste. And then I used, um, instead of regular, uh, beef broth, this is low sodium beef broth. And so it comes out of this little jar. Um, it's paste. It's actually, it'll save you a lot of money versus having to buy the whole thing of container beef broth or use the bouillon cubes. It's a much lower in sodium. Um, you just use a teaspoon with every cup of water. So I have that beef broth right here. And then we'll use Worcestershire sauce. Um, one of the hardest things to say, I probably am still not saying it correctly. And um, then we'll be good to go. So most of this we're gonna throw into the crock pot. To start out, I'm gonna start the cookie, uh, the turkey browning. Um, on the pan. So first off, we want to heat up the pan. I'm going to get that heated up and then we'll start throwing stuff into our crock pot. All right, so while the pan is heating up, we can dump most of this in. So we'll dump in our diced tomatoes. <coughs> our tomato sauce. Our onions and peppers and carrot that I already uh, ground up for us and diced up for us the last bit of those onions out, our brown sugar, our bay leaf we'll put in last um, so it doesn't get covered because we'll take it out before we eat, but our garlic, our rosemary, and our Italian seasoning we'll get in. beef broth, put the last bit of the beef broth on the bottom, put it in there, and then we need two tablespoons of tomato paste. is a two tablespoon measuring cup so we'll just do one and we need a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce There we go. Um, so we still need to do our cabbage, so I'll cut that up in just a minute. Um, I'm gonna check in on the pan and see if we can get the turkey going. So we wanna heat up the pan first so it makes it a little bit easier for the um, turkey to not stick to the pan. So I'm gonna add some olive oil now because the pan's nice and hot. And 
and we'll throw our turkey on so it can start browning. Now I've tried to spread out the turkey so that there's more surface area touching the pan. This will allow everything to cook a little bit quicker for me. All right, hopefully you can see that there is not much pink left in the turkey here. Um, so this is ready to go in the crock pot. And just remember, if you do see a tiny bit of pink or something, it is gonna keep cooking in the crock pot throughout the day. Um, but we are ready to throw this in. All right, so all we have left to put it in are, is our cabbage and our bay leaf. So I'm gonna slice up our cabbage real quick um, and then we'll be ready to put the crock pot on. But just to show you how to dice the cabbage here, we're just gonna do nice, thin, long, lengthwise slices through it. want to use a measuring cup that is um, a dry measuring cup for this but I'm not going to be particularly concerned because it's going to be okay if we have some more cabbage in there um, but we want to cut lengthwise now too just so we can get that fine nice shredding um, and then we want to make a nice claw form again with our fingers like we've done many other times just keep things nice and sliced. Keep our fingers safe. because sometimes there's dirt that can seep into the middle of the cabbage. So we're just gonna throw it into our salad spinner. We'll wash it all at once in a second. Now I'm starting to get into the base of the cabbage, which we don't really want that. It's a little tougher. Um, so we'll throw the rest of this heel. And we will start on our next cabbage. this off um, a couple times in the sink just to help get some dirt out so I'll just spin it real quick. We'll get a rough idea because this is a four cup measuring cup. from the cabbage so again like if you want an extra filler cabbage is great to fill up on and that's about four cups so we'll go ahead and dump this into the crock pot add our baby and I'll put this on high for a couple hours and then we'll turn it down to low for the rest of the day um, now I told you about some of those ingredient swaps we made 
just by swapping out the turkey for the beef, cutting back a quarter of a cup on the rice, cutting back a little bit on the brown sugar, we have saved about 100 calories per serving. We've uh, cut back our carbs by over 10 grams. So we're, we've gone from 35 grams of carbohydrate down to 19 grams of carbohydrate. And we've cut back on the saturated fat, which is great for our heart health. Um, so lots of easy swaps that we can do um, for the same serving size and similar, pretty, pretty similar tasting product. Um, so we'll check back in in a couple hours here and see how it turns out. All right, we've had the soup cooking all day and now you can just serve and enjoy.